mistake to get angry. Why? If you've actually attained the Yirat Shemaim that you were supposed to, that means you would have known that this came from heaven. This came from Hashem. This loss came from Hashem. It didn't come from the guy. The guy was just used as a little soldier to create the loss. It could have been any other way. Hashem wanted you to lose money. He chose him. Why? Because that guy wanted to do something bad. He wanted to do something bad. He wanted to do something evil. Hashem says, oh, you want to do something evil? He deserves something bad. Okay, let's make a match. Shiduch. If you have been humble and realize that everything and anything that happens in the world is from Hashem, and that He's overseeing everything, and nothing is a happenstance, nothing is a coincidence, nothing is luck, to say, oh, if I would have done this, this would have happened. If I would have done that, this would have happened. If I would have gone early, it wouldn't have happened. If I would have sold early, if I would have sold late, if this, if that. That's by the way, Rabotai, Kfira. It's 100% heresy to say, if I would have done this, then such and such would happen. That's actually Kfira. It's not as forbidden as to let us say, if I would have done something. What happened is exactly what was supposed to happen. Could you have done things differently? Yes, but you didn't. Or all of those calculations that people have in their in their heads, that actually leads them to be away from the Shem, not closer to the Shem. Because in essence, what they're saying is that they believe that the power is in their hands. The power to profit is in their hands, which is clear. Because the Kadosh Baruch Hu already decided how much Panasa you're going to make at the beginning of the year. So whether you would have called this customer or not, whether you would have been in this business or not, whether you would have started a different business or not, all of those things are simply irrelevant. A Kadosh Baruch Hu simply decided, you're going to get X amount of money with or without this job. You're going to get an X amount of money with or without this tool, with or without this news. You're going to make, you're going to lose, whatever it is, Hashem already decided what it is. When do you start getting worried? Either way, whether you believe a lot or you believe a little, you should always know that regardless of what you do, the Panasa is coming to you from Hashem. Just like the knowledge of the Torah is coming from Hashem, the Panasa is also coming from Hashem. Everything comes from Hashem. The problem with our logic, our Yetzirah, is that we're constantly trying to give ourselves the credit for our own actions. What ends up happening is that when you think that you're the one that's doing it, you're thinking that you're the one that's making the money, you think that you're the one that's in control of your own success, the Chachamim explained here that a person like that is going to live his life feeling like he's been cheated, feeling like he's been had, feeling like he never got enough. Why? Because no one ever thinks that the world is viewing them the way they should are. Everybody thinks they're smarter than what they really are. Everybody thinks that they're nicer than what they really are. Everybody thinks that they're more good than they really are. That's just the reality. Everybody thinks better than themselves, unless they have a lot of Torah. Unless they're humble. But the average person thinks they're much better of themselves than what they really are. So if that person is proud, they're never going to get enough respect like they think they should. Someone that has lack of emunah, that a Kadosh who's running his life and is the only one that's responsible for the outcome of everything, is going to live, is going to lead to a very bitter life. When a person is not humble, when a person is constantly looking for more, then they'll never be happy with whatever they have. You see people left and right taking drugs, all types of uh, mental drugs to numb their pain, to numb their depression, to get them out of reality. In reality, you don't need any of this stuff. All you need is to fo follow the instructions of the sages. But that requires toil. The actual outcome of whatever happens in the world is not our problem. It's not up to us. Hashem decides whether we succeed. Hashem decides whether we failed. We simply decide whether we're going to try or not. We decide whether to show up or not. That's what we decide. 
We decide whether we're going to open the Gemara and learn it. We decide whether we're going to open the Sidu and pray. We decide whether we're going to follow the Alakha or not follow the Alakha. Everything is from heaven except the fear of heaven. Meaning the outcome of everything is from heaven. But whether you follow what heaven dictated for you or not, that's in your hands. What do you think is going to happen when the Beth Midas is built? What do you think is going to happen when Mashiach is going to come? Number one. First ask, how can I serve a Kadosh Baruch at my best potential now under the current circumstance? Look at it in a way where how can I be the best tool for Kadosh Baruch Hu under the current difficult condition to the point of realizing that this difficulty is to my interest. That's why. Second thing is, see, what else can I do to merit the circumstances changing? So, first thing we need to do is to work on ourselves. Work on ourselves, see what we're missing. If Baruch Hashem, we're doing good with that, if we're constantly doing tshuva, then it's another possibility. Did we pray for it enough? Not did we pray for it, surely you've prayed for it, he prayed for it, everybody prayed for it. But did we pray for it enough? What's enough? Enough is when it gets accepted. Moshe Rabbeinu prayed 515 times to get led to Eretz Yisrael until Hashem says, Rav Lach, enough. Me is there has to be a point where Hashem pretty much says either no or yes. But also always remember, your responsibility is the effort, Hashem's responsibility is the outcome. So if you pray every day on it, and you do whatever you can to improve yourself every day, and you still find a way to serve a Kadosh Baruch to the ultimate potential under the current conditions, even if they don't change, meaning you're happy with the circumstance with or without anything changing, then that is more than enough where you know that when it happened, Hashem did it. If it didn't happen, Hashem did it. What are you going to be upset about? I did my best. It didn't work out, which means Hashem didn't want it. I did my best and it didn't work out. Go Hashem, Hashem, listen to my prayers. At least once I know I did my best, there's nothing, there's nothing for me to be sad about. And everything, if you see it, play out is always you're always going to see how Hashem is good, Hashem is merciful, Hashem is the ultimate kind of kindness comes from Him. The problem with us is that we only see part of the equation, but we pretend like we know the whole thing. Greatest disaster that can literally happen to a human being while still alive can be turned into something holy. Something holy. Kadosh Baruch Hu gave him the tools to deal with that test. Nonetheless, you see, Kadosh Baruch Hu gave a tikkun, a major, major tragedy, but he also gave him the tools to deal with them. Needless to say, our little problems, whatever they are, are nothing in comparison to such a thing. Of course, Hashem gave us also the tools. All you gotta do, stop for a second, turn off the phone, focus on HaKadosh Baruch Hu and what's important. You focus on that, you'll not only attain a good level of a good mind to pray, but that mind is going to help you get what you want. And ultimately, you'll have that contentment that will get you to the ultimate level of happiness in this world. As other Shem, this will help us get a closer to our Baruch Hu, bring the Mashiach closer, and bring ourselves closer to where we're supposed to be.